Hey, what's up, homies? So I'm here at MMA Underground. This is the weight room here. I'm here with my buddy Nate. He's one of the fighters here at the gym. So we're gonna do something different today. We're gonna pick all the UFC 215 our predictions, and we're gonna see who gets it right, who gets it lost. And then next, if you guys like this, uh, next UFC fight we'll do it again, and then we can have a record on you know who wins. We're gonna do pick all our winners and losers and how they win, but. How they win is only going to matter if it's a tie. Like if we both got the same amount of fights right, we'll go to who got more of the other things right. And uh, yeah, so we'll I'm going to we'll kick your ass. Adults. Yeah, I'm going to kick your ass. Yeah, you, you might. Probably not. <laughs> I have no idea. Half the, these fights are going to be in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. Uh, today's date is the uh, what is it? September 9th. So, yep. so yeah, if you're watching, I'm going to try to upload this as soon as possible. So these will air before the fight so that you know there's no bullshit. But uh, first fight on the card we got in... Okay, what weight is this? In the lightweight division, we got Cajun Johnson versus Adriano Martins. Cajun Johnson, 21-12, uh, fighting out of Canada. It is in Canada, so you can take that into consideration. And Adriano Martins is from Brazil with 28 and 8, so both very good records. Uh, kind of hard to call. I'm going to go with the Brazilian, just why not? I'm going to go with the Brazilian by... Who do you from Canada? Uh, Cajun Johnson, see on the bottom, it says country. I'm going with him. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna go with Martins, I'm gonna say decision. Yeah. You go Cajun decision? Yeah, I'll say the same thing. Okay, he's Canada on this one, I'm Brazil. He's Canada. Yeah. <laughs> okay, next, we got uh, in the heavyweight, is this heavyweight? Yeah, heavy, this guy, I've seen this guy fight before. Hey, Luis Henrique and uh, Agent uh, Blarnard, sorry, I'm probably butchering that. I'll put it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, but I think it's the guy's UFC debut, he's from Canada, he's 6 0. The guy he's fighting, I've seen fight before, he's from Brazil, he's a powerhouse, he's 10-3. 10-3 and three. So, uh, though, okay. Yeah. I'm gonna go, you know what, I'm gonna go with the Canadian on this one, I'm gonna say knockout first round. <laughs> yeah, I'm going for it. <laughs> I don't know, I'm gonna go with the dude with the actual UFC record. <laughs> I'm right. gonna say that like, he might have like, a little bit of edge, just kind of like the guy in experience, you know? So. What do you say, by knockout or by decision, TKO, submission? Mm. Also, I'm just going to say decision, I can't say. I haven't seen this dude fight. Okay, this okay. next fight, I think I've seen both these guys fight. Mitch Clark and Alex White, this is in... Yeah, Mitch yeah this is the lightweight division. You know, I'm going to go with Mitch Clark on this one. They have very similar records, 11-3 and three and 11-4. and four. So, based on that, I'm just going to go with the Canadian, fighting in his hometown. I'm going to go with the Canadian, too. So, I'm going to say this one, I'm going to say TKO second round. Knockout. Knockout? <laughs> First round. First round. <laughs> okay, this next one, uh, Gavin Tucker versus Rick Glenn. Gavin Tucker is a very up-and-coming prospect out of Canada. He's had one fight, but he was a big kickboxer Muay Thai fighter, so a lot of people know him more as like a Muay Thai fighter. He's definitely the favorite, I can tell you now. This other guy is 19-4, though, so he's got 19-4-1, and one, so he's got like 24 fights. And this guy's only got 10, but with his kickboxing experience, I'm gonna say he's probably gonna knock this guy out. I'm gonna say first round knockout, Gavin Tucker. Huh? Yeah, I'm gonna go with the Canadian. Just cause I, th I think he's got a lot. The other guy's got a good record though. I don't know, it's a hard fight to call. I think it might be an exciting fight. Yeah, this might be fight of the night. Okay. Well, I'm going with the dude from USA. Okay, USA, I'll go Canada. What are you going, what's the prediction? I'm gonna say decision. Decision? Yeah. Okay. Okay, next we got the ladies. We got Sarah Morris from Canada versus Ashley Evan Smith. Both pretty cute girls. Should be a good fight. Uh, I feel like this one's more like rough around the edges, more like punk rock, so I can't like that, but she wears way too much makeup. Yeah. Like, I feel like Sarah Morris is gonna punch the makeup off her face. This is the, this is the belt. Yeah, <laughs> this might be the belt. Yeah, this is 135 pounds, so women's bantamweight division. Um, I'm, a, I'm gonna go with the Canadian. I don't know, I liked how she had the different, uh, they both have crazy hair, but I like the Canadian how she had like the colored hair on the bottom. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that makes a difference. It definitely doesn't. I'm gonna say submission. Yeah, I was, I was about to say like you see the women like they pull out a whole bunch of crazy submissions, man. Yeah. So I, I, might, I might see like, man, I don't know who though. Well, I think I think they're in by submission though. Yeah, I'm gonna go Sarah submission third round. I would go with another girl just for the fuck of it. Yeah. Okay. What, what, what round do you think? Maybe in the second round. Okay. Okay. Next we got. Uh, another lady fight. This one I'm actually pretty excited about. Uh, Sarah McMahon, uh, she's an Olympic wrestler, you know, total beast. I think her only losses are to like Nunez, Shevchenko, and Ronda, so to very game opponents. And then she's fighting Caitlin uh, Vierda. I don't know if I said that right, but she's Brazilian, she's undefeated, and she just looks. She, I saw her weigh in. 
she just looks like she's ready to fight. So this is gonna be a good fight. Um, I'm gonna go with the Brazilian on this one. I'm gonna say the upset. I, I bet you. I feel like McMahon has the name in the UFC and everything, and uh, I kind of want to see the young girl, you know, do something. So I'm gonna go with her, the the new girl TKO second round. I'll go with Sarah McMahon just because of the experience and decision. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now we're getting into the heavy hitters. We got Gilbert El Nino Melendez versus Jeremy Little Heathen Stevens. Mm -hmm. uh, you, I, you know, both have very good records. Um, I'd say Melendez's record's a little better, but Stevens has fought better caliber opponents. Yeah. So I give him pretty even on that. Uh, One forty-five pounds. I don't know. I, I'm gonna. I, I, I don't. I don't see. I don't see any guy getting knocked out. But it could happen. It could happen. Yeah. It could very fucking happen. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't know. I don't see. I don't see it. I think it's gonna go all the way. Yeah. I think it does. I think I can see it going all the way too. Who? I'm gonna go El Nino, Gilbert Melendez. I think I he might. I'll go with Gilbert. I think it's Caesar Grace at Jiu Jitsu training with the Diaz brothers is gonna pay off. So we're gonna. I'm oh yeah. Jeremy yeah. Stevens came. Okay. Now this fight. This fight looks awesome. This guy's from Sweden. Um, I love. I don't know. I it's like Lair uh, Lafuni, I don't know how to say it. Yeah, There's Tyron Pe Pedro um, from Australia. Now Pedro is six and zero, very young kid. Looks having been. I've seen this other guy fight, and he's got this is awesome. he's got three times the amount of fights. This kid's got six pro fights. This he's six and zero, but this other guy's thirteen and five. Being having three times the amount of fights, I think the experience is gonna play into factor, and because it's in the light heavyweight division, I'm gonna call it a TKO third round. Yeah, I'll, I'll say the same dude will take you maybe maybe second or third. You know, you might even have it earlier. Yeah. Okay, this one, um, these are little dudes. 125 pounds is going to be a good fight. Um, Henry Cejudo and uh, Wilson Reyes. Now, they both have, has, Cejudo's got a better record, but only half the amount, less than half the amount of fights. He's 10 and 2. Reyes is 22 and 7. Um, both uh, at those low weight classes, that you, you always have hard fights. I mean, there's not that many fighters, I feel like. So I feel like the fight, the people that do fight at those low weight classes are pretty good. Yeah. And they seem like they always fight a lot. Like, you see low, low weight classes, they fight like three, four times a year. So they both probably have good, real good experience. But uh, judging off weigh-ins, they both looked like they were ready to go. They are both shredded. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go with the American because I don't think I've picked an American yet. So I'm going to go with Sehudo. Uh, decision. I'll do with this one. All right, you know what? No. Sehudo. Knockout. Third round. No, I first, first round. I say open uh, Wilson Reyes, I think. Reyes? Yeah. I'm going to say it goes to him by decision. Okay, now this fight, this next fight, big fight. I love this fight. You, yeah, I don't even need to introduce these people. We've got Neil Magny, uh, especially around here. He's from our area, so you know we hear a lot of him. But Rafael Dos Anjos, the former champion, so, mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> I don't know. I think experience is going to give it to Dos Anjos. I think he's going to be a, he's going to be a little stronger, yeah. and I think his wrestling is going to overpower him. I could see him. Yeah, but I don't know. That's hard because Maggie's really good on the ground too, and he's got good jiu-jitsu. Yeah. Jimmy and RDA needs a win. Yeah, RDA does need a win. He needs a win though. Yeah, I'm gonna pick RDA uh, knockout. I'm gonna pick him too. Yeah, I'm gonna say knockout I first round. No, second round. <laughs> second round. <laughs> I'm gonna say TKO, maybe maybe second, third round. Okay, now we got the the main event, the fight of the night. Uh, Valentina Shevchenko versus Amanda Nunes. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, champion versus challenger. They fought once before they were either of them was champion, and it went to three. Amanda won the beginning of the fight. Shevchenko won the second half of the fight. So very close to quality week. They also were supposed to fight July seventh, and it got postponed. Most of you probably know about that. Postponed bullshit. Yeah, num number one bullshit. Number one bullshit. This is number one bullshit. So I'm gonna say Shevchenko, being uh, my Polish roots, I got to go for go for her. Whoop that ass! Yeah, and I think that kickboxing record, she at a five round fight, she's gonna know how to pace it. Cause Nunes Nuna, always had the problem. Like even when she fought, who was her first fight in the UFC? She gassed out and she lost. Mm -hmm. um, I think she's always had that problem. Who was that man? That was Kazakh. Yeah, it was Kazakh. I think. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, but she beat her. She, you know, she she wore up, wore the storm, and then, mm -hmm. and I think Valentina can do that. I think she's got her kickboxing record is fifty two and two, and she's she's beat Joanna in Jinchak. Yeah, yeah, she should be fighting her. Yeah, they, I mean they, they they're, I think they're one and one in a tie. They're all kickboxing fights or Muay Thai fights. But yeah, just the fact that she's fought her, and she has you know she has so many fights, so much experience. I think she's gonna enter in this one. But Nunez, man, at the yeah. same time, she only needs one.
She's like Mike Tyson. Yeah, 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 Mike Tyson. He's like a few. Yeah, it's a hard fight to call. I think Nuno's better on the ground. They both have a judo, judo black. Um, Chevchenko's a black belt in judo, where Nuno's is a brown belt in judo. But Nunez is also a black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, so yeah. she gives her a little edge as well. She's bigger, she's gonna be able to hold her down a little easier. But, you know, Valentina's no slouch, and she looks shredded, and she looked pretty sexy in ways. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. she looked sexy last time. No, also, wait, this man. time she looked, she was like a little little more muscly, more abs. I was like, damn, goddamn. Yeah, yeah, like uh, Nunez came in just Nunez, to, I ain't looking at her in like shorts, that. and uh, for, 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 for I, the Chango came in like the sexy outfit. Yeah, I, like, I ain't looking at her like that. Yeah. All right, so based on the looks, I'm going to say Shevchenko, TKO, fourth round. Hmm. Man. God damn. <laughs> this is a hard one. <laughs> yeah, this one is hard. Because they can go, man. Look at their accuracy. Both of them are on 50. Both have very good accuracy. Both of them are takedown accurate. You know, Shevchenko actually has yeah, more, more. more better accuracy has to go to take her Their takedown down. defense is exactly the same, 73.33%. That is weird. Uh, you know, but the high, much higher submission average for Nunes, obviously, but... I'm know. saying TKO fourth or fifth round, too. Okay, so you we're... Know, I, I think she's just... I don't think she can last all five rounds. Yeah. You know? So, she might prove me wrong. Anything well, can happen. I don't happen. see it yet. This sport, seen it yet. This sport's <laughs> fucking crazy. Anything can happen, so... Yeah. And that, that shit she pulled last time, I thought that was some bullshit. Yeah. I wanted to see this fight so long ago, but yeah. yeah. So these are our predictions. We'll see. Uh, we'll see on the next time. You know who's the reigning champion, and uh, yeah. we'll put a record and we'll do the next fights. If you guys like this, let us know in the comments. Mm -hmm. If you don't, then you can go fuck yourself. See you later. <laughs> <laughs>